Risk of Rain is a game that has taken over my life, and I still don't know if that's a good or bad thing yet. Besides the gameplay, one of the reasons I continue to play Risk is the characters. There's some real fun ones, like Captain with his shotgun and microbots, Accurate the funky poison lizard, Bandit with his ability to do double damage if he's behind a target. Then there's this Master Chief looking ass. Let's talk about Commando. <laughs> Commando is one of the two characters you start out with in Risk, the other being Huntress. With these choices, you know the obvious choice to play, which is Huntress, because they are way more fun to play. But since this is a Commando video, I guess I'll talk about them. Commando is your basic starter character, being a jack of all trades, which pretty much means he is alright in everything stat-wise, which when you're starting out with only two survivors and zero artifacts, isn't bad at all. But once you've played a bit and gotten a few things, Commando becomes pretty boring, both design-wise, not new his mastery skins help with that much, and gameplay-wise. Speaking of gameplay, let's talk about that, considering, you know, Commando video. Starting off with the M1, just like every American, Commando has a gun. What's already put some pretty high on the American tier list. There's really nothing special about them, they're guns, they do good damage, and that's about it. For his M2, he has a phase round, a piercing shot that does more damage for every enemy it passes through. For his starter ability, it's pretty good, but that's not all for M2s. Every character in Risk, except him, had challenges you can do to unlock alternative abilities. As Commando, if you land the final hit on an overloading worm, you unlock the phase blast, which fires two short range shots which do 8 times 200% damage, you can do the math on that one. Despite how annoying this challenge is, the ability is pretty good. Honestly, I really can't decide which one you should play, so I guess experiment with that one. Moving on to utility, first off is the tactical die, which is similar to fat rolling in Dark Souls, being that I move fucking nowhere and I still take damage. But if you complete the first teleporter in under 5 minutes, you get the tactical slide, which is a way more fun one. You still get hurt, sure, but you can also shoot while using it. Also, if you have enough movement speed, you can go fucking flying. So, clearly, the slide is the better one. It's not even hard to get. Finally, to end off your arsenal of neutral specials, it's your specials. First off is suppressive fire. Imagine a taser, but instead of shocking you, I'm just shooting you with a fuck ton of bullets. Second off is the frag grenade, which is unlocked by doing 20 levels without picking up any looter items. By the way, you can still pick up lunar coins, that's not just not actual items. This ability allows you to channel your inner snake from Smash Bros and fling grenades at people that do 700% damage. Which, on paper, sounds great. But as a pure mug-blooded American, I prefer the second amendment. What's next items, bitch? This may sound a bit weird, so sorry in advance, but here's what I think. I think all items work for every survivor in some way, shape, or form. If you're just starting out, you have to play the classic way, which is kill enemies, get money, and open chests to get random items, which is where I think Commando shines. Because he is a jack of all traits, no matter what he gets, it'll benefit him in some way. This isn't true for other characters who have some traits you need to work on, like health or speed. But once you get command, the randomness of items is gone, so Commando's jack of all trades really doesn't matter because you can just pick up items. So you might just pick someone else because you can just get items to fix their downsides. Which is the main reason I don't play, really play Commando, because once you get command, by that point you probably unlocked more survivors, so there's really not a point in playing Commando anymore. BC, does this mean you hate Commando? Not really. As I said before, I think Commando is a great starting class. With Commando, you get a real basic experience and a good starting point. And with Huntress, who we'll talk about next video, you get a different place zone. It's slightly more of a challenge. Overall, if you want to feel like the average American citizen starting life on a foreign planet called Boston, Massachusetts, Commando is definitely a good starting choice, even if, just like your firstborn child, you never look at them again once you get five schnickels. Thanks for watching. See ya. Soul's finally gone, it's not wrong to think about it, but I'll stop for tonight Cause we're immortalized forever in the songs that we write, you know